This is it. This is the moment. What is up, everybody? We are back with another opening of our favorite card, where we are trying our best to pull it. Yeah, we have the merch for it, so it makes sense. Shout out to Jarvis. We have opened over 3,600 booster packs for the Dragon Master Magia, a card that was released in Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge, back in June. And just in case you don't know, that's over 12 and a half cases, that's 12 boxes per case, of Yu-Gi-Oh boxes searching for one singular card. So what we've done today is, first of all, we have four boxes of Terminal Revenge from Marcel, who has sent us these boxes to open up for him and hopefully pull the Magia, which is, by the way, now a $1,000 card. When it was first released, it was around $500, and I was like, that's way too high, or $450 or $425, I don't remember what it was. It's all the way up to $1,000 now, and it's holding steady. There hasn't been a reprint yet, but it's still holding steady at the moment. Well, I also brought in a little backup. We have a quarter century duelist box, which, wait, what? This is Japanese, huh? Now you're getting the hang of this. This is a Japanese product. That was the very first release of the Dragon Master Magia, which we have actually pulled before on the channel, I think, maybe. But now we're gonna do it again. So before we hop into this, we're doing a giveaway of one of these quarter century duelist boxes. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below how many Magia will be pulled in this video. Let's get to it. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm giving away one of these. We're also doing a four versus four battle. So four of these quarter century duelist boxes versus four booster boxes of Terminal Revenge. Who will have the most value is gonna be kind of tough because it's Japanese and you can't, it's hard, really hard to find values, but we'll do our best. Really, it's about what do you feel like had more value, right? Which one felt like it won? So let's open this cool quarter century duelist box uh, product. I'm trying to remember exactly what was in here because we have opened this before on the channel. And I'm not 100% sure, did we pull the Magia? Someone I feel like said we maybe did or maybe that it was easier to do. I can't remember. We have pulled the Magia out of, oh cool, it's in this. I probably should just pull these all out like that. We have already pulled the Korean version and we've also pulled the Master Duel version. So we pulled two versions of Magia, pretty sweet. Now, we gotta pull the English one. All right, let's go. And, well, and the Japanese one. So English and Japanese will have pulled four versions of Magia. Is there enough Magia? I mean, are there any other versions I need to know about? Like the 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 Korean version. No, I already we already pulled the Korean version. How about the uh, the German version or something? I know you German fans out there probably have a German version. Okay, let's pull these packs out. I can't get them. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, a lot of packs to be open today. A lot of packs. It's gonna be a long video. Sit back, relax. Today we conquer this sucker. So Marcel, if we pull it for you, you'll be very happy. It's, and I will be very happy because we will pull the Magia. So let's, oh yeah, there's a little, a token pack at the beginning. Let's go ahead and open that. So we got to deal with these like pull flaps, which are never the, the most fun. But uh, let's do that. We have tokens. So they are all tokens, I guess. Very cool. And you get one as a prismatic quarter century secret. That's the Yuma token. Really awesome. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty sweet. There are a lot more packs in an English pack than there are in the Japanese pack, or a lot more in a box, Japanese box than there are here. So let's go through these. So we have a lot of packs to be open today. So we're not going to be pack tricking everything because we have four boxes plus four Japanese boxes. So that's like, I mean, eight boxes, obviously, but you know, it's a lot of packs. So I don't know how many, I think there's 10 in here. So there's 40 there. And then, okay, so four cards a pack and you get the Saruja the Skull Dread. Very cool. So there's 24 times four is what? I mean, however many that is, it's a lot. And then uh, 40 packs, so it's a bunch. Ritual Beast Inheritance, Secret Rare. Let's see if we, we're gonna do a couple of uh, Terminal Revenge. Hopefully this is our very last Terminal Revenge opening ever, and we will pull the cards that we want. Sprite Blue, also very nice. We will take those, and because there's 2.4 car or 2.4 packs uh, for the English one versus there's only one, you know, 2.4 for every one over here, we'll be opening a couple in a row as we do those. These, I don't, uh, this, the Japanese packs are never easy. It's like, which way do we go? Do we go from the top, do the pull tab, or do we not? And oh, there it is. Let us know how many major are we going to pull? Let me know in the comments. And ultra rare. You can also get the secret rare version, I think. And then maybe some higher rarities as well, probably. So ultra rare. We're going to put those to the side. Magia has been pulled right off the bat. So ultra rare already off to a great start. Let's see if we can get the English version now. And then can we get the other higher end version like the... Uh, Secret uh, Japanese, the probably, I haven't seen any other rarities, but I'm guessing there's an ulti or something. Snatch steal in our wallet. Guess what, guys? Been snatch steal in our wallet for too long. The Magia has been snatch stealing our wallet for far too long. I mean, it, it is definitely snatch steal quite a bit of wallet. Let's say that. 
Uh, Utopic Draco, we have Max C in here. There's an Ultra. So we actually got it in the Ultra slot, which is lucky. And then the Secret. Could have been a Super Rare. Maybe we'll get the Super Rare as we go as well. Magia, Magia. Hopefully this is the last time we ever have to open for you. We can just be done with it. We can retire you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> and I'm saying retire in, an, in a nice way, but really I don't mean it in a nice way. I mean like send him to the Shadow Realm like no mercy okay no mercy at all oh yes phantom view bell great start from our cell looking good on the packs doing a few of these in a row so you know we can kind of keep them even as we go we got ancient gear beast all right good stuff back to the quarter century uh what's it called special pack quarter century duelist box special pack ghost ogre we've got the uh what's this guy called Synchro, Synchron, something Synchron, I can't remember. Uh, and then Santa Claus. Okay, what's he called? The All I can think of is Junk Synchron right now, and that's obviously not the right one. Uh, Gigantic Sprite. Some cool stuff. We are, this is only the first battle, by the way. There's uh, another four or three rounds of this, so there will be a lot more opened up. Don't you guys worry. If you guys like long videos, sit back, relax. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because... I mean, if you've watched this many major videos, which I think is like 25-ish, 26, something like that, then you are definitely, uh, you're in at this point. So just subscribe. Okay, here we go. I think this is maybe the 25th or 26th, which, you know, that could be good luck. 25th anniversary, you know, all that different stuff. Let's try to open up another Magia. So far, we've gotten one. If we get the QC, I'm sure there's a QCR because it's 25th anniversary. The QCR version in here, that'd be pretty, oh, oh, did I speak? too soon okay pendula pendul pendulgraph sorcerer or something like that pretty nice card but also not the magia so you know you know how we feel about non magias around here let's see what else we can get sprite starter pretty good pretty solid bless us with that one thousand dollar card by the way one thousand dollars which is insane one thousand dollars for a new Yu-Gi-Oh card does not happen very often that's like apolosa and uh, oh man Hiccup, we have uh, Opelosa and uh, IP Mascarena got there as Starlights for a while, but then they got reprinted, which, you know, I'm not, that's so weird. That happens when things get reprinted, you know, it's not, Magia will never get reprinted, right? But yeah, yeah, so it can happen. Oh, a QCR. That's nice. Winkery Bow, it's not the Magia. Winkery Bow, really, really good. I'm sure, I'm sure Marcel will be happy about that. So still a pretty good pull, even though it is not the Magia itself. But that doesn't mean anything, because these are loose boxes. So, we might get lucky. Might still get it. Let's see. Oh, blue eyes. That's in here. That's pretty sweet. And then uh, some Ink Seas guy that I'm not sure. We are almost down to the end of this mini battle we have here, but there's more coming up. Don't worry. Can we get something awesome? Guard Dog branded Fusion. Only a few packs left. Guys, it's going to be a long video. <laughs> We might make it to 45 minutes in this one. We'll see. Snatch steel in our wallet. Let's see what we can do. I might actually, after this, pull out all the packs just so we have them ready. Just so we can save a little bit for you guys. So it's like just purely opening packs, right? We're just pack opening. That's all we're doing. We got Maxi and Prismatic Seeker. That's beautiful. So there's a QCR, but are there no collectors or ultis in here? It's kind of interesting. I think I remember opening this because I know we opened this for sure. And I'm I think maybe you only get a QCR as like high rarity, like there's secrets and below and then a QCR, which is unusual. I feel like for Japanese product feels like they always have a bunch of crazy stuff. All right. Last Japanese pack before we get into the rest of them. So, yeah, I mean, there's it's not even close to the last one, actually. Well, let's see what we get. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon and uh, Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. All right. Let's get the rest of these open. Get all the packs out. All right, here we go. We have gotten everything out. We have a lot of packs. We got about 105 packs to be open right here. I also have a injury that has been sustained from too many cardboard cuts. The Magia slash pack opening. It's, it's a dangerous job, everybody. It's a dangerous job. And I keep cutting it in the same spot. It is very frustrating. And now it really kind of hurts. Really kind of, if you guys know what that means. It definitely makes sense to say really kind of. All right, uh, let's see if we can get another QCR out of there. So these Terminal Revenge, there are like, you know, 72 of these versus there's only 30 of these other packs. So we're going to be opening a lot of Terminal Revenge in a row. Then we'll go over to a couple Japanese packs just to kind of get to the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, not we don't have to alternate every single time. It's not going to work out numbers wise. And uh, it should be pretty cool if we can pull something big. All right, here we go. 
First Japanese pack of this, you know, since we opened them all back up after this. Let's see if we can get a QCR. Not that time. Let's try another one. We have a couple token or three more token packs to open up. And we have, okay, uh, Illusion of Chaos. Very cool. Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. We have a Ritual Beast. And, okay, very cool. Very nice. Can we get Sprite Blue? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So we can get Sprite Blue. It's a nice card. Magia time, though, is really what we want. So look, we've pulled one today. We pulled one Japanese Magia. We have now pulled two Phantom View Bell. That's really good. We've pulled Japanese Magia. We pulled Korean Magia. We pulled Master Duel Magia. Now you know what we need. English Magia. English. Oh, okay. Double QCRs, though. He got some good boxes so far. That's that's two QCRs already. That's really good. That is really good. Just the wrong QCRs, which, you know, never heard that one before. We've always had the right QCRs. Totally not. We have not at all, actually. We opened every single card before we got the Magia. Literally every single card. Uh, what I do want, though, I mean, QCR Magia in Japanese would be awesome. Even just like the secret rare would be cool. That is that a flame swordsman? Like, I'm not sure, but he looks really cool. What? Maybe not a flame swordsman, but he was definitely awesome, whatever it was. Over 3,600 packs, guys. Over 3,600. I mean, how insane is that? How insane is that? I mean, most people don't really open 3,600 packs for anything, you know, in general. And we've opened that many for one stinking card. I mean, how crazy is that? It just makes, it just seems a little bit too too insane, right? For the, for the average everyday person. Red eyes. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Dark Magician. Okay, so we got really good pack there. Ash, Red Eyes, Vanilla, and then Dark Magician, the movie pack artwork. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. Very cool. It's not the Magia, but it's cool. I'm not going to complain. Okay, another Dark Magician. Really awesome. So many packs of Magia have been opened. And no, you know what we are still looking for? We're looking for the Fusion. The Amazing. The Awesome. Dragon Master Magia. Will he be pulled in my presence? Even in my presence, like not even me. Will someone just pull it in my presence? I mean, we might even have to count that at this point. Just to end the search. Just to let it be over. Okay, another secret. These have been really good boxes so far. Two Phantom View Belt, two QCR. I mean, like Phantom View Belt plus QCR is as good as you're going to get one of these boxes. And it seems like both boxes have had that so far. Unless I'm just picking it, you know, I'm kind of picking random packs here. So it could be separate ones on the second one. But the first one definitely did have a QCR and a fan of U-Bell. So really good boxes so far for Marcel. Uh, so, uh, yeah, not a lot to complain about for him. For me, though, I love to complain. <laughs> Especially when it comes to Meiji. <laughs> okay, uh, Winkaribo. I would love to end the, end the journey today and pull an absolutely awesome card. It's a Dragon Master. It's basically a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon being ridden by a Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, and it's in English and it's a quarter century secret rare and it's only printed in that rarity. It doesn't come in anything lower like a secret rare or anything. It's the only way you can get it. I'm trying to explain this to the pack so they understand like what they're looking for. You packs, I'm talking to you, Terminal Revenge. And so you really want to, you know, like have it in your pack. You know what I mean? And you are the pack, so you want it to be there. So please make that out. Oh, there's another one. That's number two. Boom. Dragon Master Magia number two. Both ultra rares, interestingly enough. Is it only an ultra? I guess that's possible, but I feel like they normally do them where they're all. It's kind of weird, though, that we got two ultras only. I guess we'll find out. If we don't pull anything, then maybe I can question that, but... I'm pretty sure it's another rarity. It's got, no, it's definitely in the QCR because we had one. Yeah, CGC one that was uh, on a return for somebody that did a consignment with me. I remember that now. So yeah, they definitely come in QCR Ultra. They, I mean, if they come in QCR and Ultra, they probably come in Super. How have I not seen a Super though? So maybe it's only Ultra enough, maybe? Because how would I have not seen a Super of it? We've opened a bunch of the packs. Well, I guess it hasn't been that many, maybe. About 20 packs. You think you would have seen it though? I think that we have this token pack. That'll be two boxes, right? We've got more tokens with the Akiza Black Rose one, which is really cool. So put another real pack, non-token pack, I should say. So, I mean, they're both real packs, you know what I mean? But open that up. Here we go. Let's get something that is like some kind of link blocker or something like that. So, so many packs left. So, so many chances, but you know how many chances we've had before. So it's like... Is this going to be it or is it not? You know, is this going to finally end our misery and make us happy? I hope so. I really, really hope so. Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. 25th anniversary. Here we come. 
Let's see. Let's do that. Exits on night. And Ghost Ogre is cool. It's a Ghost Ogre. It's fun. But it, well, it's not that fun. Spir okay, Spiritual Beast. Tamer Lara. These are really good. <laughs> These boxes are really, really good. He's pulling some good stuff. I feel like he's kind of doing well. I'm going to keep opening the Japanese packs because, you know, I want my Magias. I have two so far. Okay, Illusion of Chaos. Still no Magia. That's not an Ultra yet, which is a little weird. Makes me wonder if it's only an Ultra and a QCR. I guess that could be possible. Just a QCR and an Ultra. Secrets are pretty hard to pull, though, because there's only one per pack. So maybe I just haven't pulled the secret version. I feel like Ultra and Up feels pretty likely because Supers we would have seen by now. We probably would have seen by now. Proxy F Magician. Can we pull something big so far? Not so much. Not so much. <sighs> oh, that's sweet. Blizz will turn to White Dragon. Okay, that's... We've gotten really good QCRs. I mean, I don't remember the first one, but we've pulled uh, both a Dark Magician in the alternate artwork and a Blizz will turn to White Dragon. That's pretty amazing. What was our first QCR? I don't think it was that crazy. I don't remember. I mean, it's probably these are one of the ones that'll get quoted in the comments. and It'll be like we pulled like an amazing card. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure that'll happen. I'm sure it's like the best card in the set or something. You know, <laughs> we pulled we pulled like a I don't know, an Ash Blossom. We didn't really pull it. We didn't pull. I would pull, remember that. But, you know, some card I'm not super familiar with. Come on, pack. Make, make it happen. All right, more stuff there. Not too crazy. Not too amazing. What do we have, Max C? A Dark Magician Girls, Andy? Oh, I remember this. This is a QCR as well, because that was one of the big chases, isn't it? In the set? I think I remember that when we first opened this. That, that was one of the big chases. I don't think Magia at the time was actually one of the big chases, which is funny. Uh, Lancia, or at least it wasn't mentioned to be a big chase from, from uh, Yugi Market. We've got the, or at least I don't think it was. Look, I have a bad memory. Okay, so it definitely could have happened. Definitely could have happened. Let's see, Avoid Vanishment, Terminal Revenge, We've got Infernoid. What else can you bless us with? Another Infernoid. Okay. Oh, fusion makes me excited every time. Like, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the time. All right, OCG pack. All right, another one of those secret guys. I feel like we already... We're getting a double on the secrets is interesting. So I'm... Really confused about, I, I don't remember, like, are doubles on, like, are only some of them in secret? They're not all in the same rarity. I feel like Japanese packs are always all in the same, are all in every rarity, but maybe not, that's not the case for this one. Get, the packs are getting lower. They're getting lower. We've definitely opened a lot today, which is not unusual for a major opening. Let's see if we can pull something big to end it off. If we get three QCRs out of four boxes, this, this dude is insane. He is literally the luckiest man on Earth, except for if it's not the Magia, then you'd have to pull the Magia to be the luckiest man. But second luckiest man behind the guy who opened four boxes, got three QCRs, and got the Magia. Which, guess what? There are actually a lot of those people, according to the messages I get, which some of them are probably true and some of them probably aren't, but it seems like for the most part, they are. OCG, come on. OCG, we've got another man. It's like they're always an ultra rare. I feel like it's only an ultra and a QCR. Blue Eyes is a really awesome secret rare as well. It's a good pull. Three Ma Dragon Master Magia. One for each of the blue eyes, which is pretty sweet. Still would like to see a QCR of that. That'd be really cool. The, the Granglanol. Let's open the token pack, see what we get. What can we pull? Tokens, tokens. Very cool. One more OCG pack. Let's see. I'm kind of killing it with these, with these openings right here. Okay. Cross out Designator. All right. Maybe down to like one box of Terminal Revenge left versus... One box of the Quarter Century Duelist Box Special Pack. That's what it's called. Void Imagination. I'm imagining the moment when we pull it. We've pulled it and everything else. Pulled Japanese, Korean, Master Duel. There's only one more step to take. Here we go. Will it happen? Will it be amazing? Will it be awesome? Let's go. All right, that same guy. See, that makes me think the same secrets are popping up. Makes me think that only certain ones can be certain rarities, which is interesting. And I'm pretty sure I'm right about that because we've opened a lot of packs now. I mean, like 35 packs of those OCG. That's a 
I mean, for like a secret rare or something, or an ultra rare, I mean, that's, or a, like if it was super, that's a pretty big ratio. In terms of like QCRs and stuff, it's not really, but for if it was gonna be a super, we would have pulled it by now, probably. Almost definitely. Terminal Revenge, we're getting low. These are like way easier to open because they're, you know, they're English packs, so they're not as tight uh, in like Fort Noxy like these. These can be difficult. They really don't want you to, to open their QCR. Okay, here we go. Ah, what a troll! I thought we got the QCR one. That's still a really sweet one. Wake up your elemental hero. Oh, that's like the only other fusion, I feel like. Oh, man. And we got the Dark Magician Girl again, which I think is also only an Ultra and a QCR. Oh, man. I thought that was it. Saw the fusion and boom, we were disappointed. <laughs> and not super disappointed, though, because that's a good one. Oh, I thought we had it. Thought we had the Japanese Magia QCR, not just the Ultra Rare. I mean, the Ultra Rare is not that hard to pull, as you guys can see. We have three of them. The QCR on the other end, not the easiest. Okay, let's keep opening. I mean, I'm guessing there are no more in here, but I am always interested to see about errors. You know, I don't want to assume there's no error packs or anything. We are very low on packs overall, though. Longer video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you liked your popcorn. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for, you know, just the... If you've been here for all these Magia videos, you know, whatever we're going to search for after the Magia, you know, it's going to be a fun time. You're not going to... You're not going to regret it, okay? Also, if you guys have not gotten your Magia mat yet, check this out right here. Of, oh no, oh, Ruxin's opened so many packs, I haven't gotten the Magia. They are available exclusively on Whatnot, so go check that out. Get $15 free credit if you are a new user. So this mat is at a special price of $25 to start with. If you are a new user, you cut $15 off that, it's $10. $10 mat, go check it out. They're only available uh, until they sell out. Once they sell out, gone for good. So we do have a, we have a few left, like a decent amount. So uh, you're not too late yet. But don't 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 wait around too long because once they sell out, because they are consistently selling. Once they sell out, there's not gonna be a reprint. This isn't, this isn't Konami around here. We don't reprint stuff. Petite Moth Matt, it's already gone. Like it's gone for good. Like if you ordered it, you got it. If you didn't, you don't. Like it is gone for good. So don't miss out on this one. Go check out whatnot and get that $50 free credit in another Magia to give yourself a nice cheap mat and support the channel i appreciate it if you guys do that here we go let's keep it up let's see if we can get something crazy in it off so we are down to only seven packs including this token pack so far or left i should say and we opened 96 plus 40 so 136 packs today so pretty long opening pretty good stuff and guess what we have not pulled the english magia we have pulled four magia though which is pretty cool pulling four of the japanese one is pretty awesome okay we're gonna make it even we're gonna do one one here we go, and guess what, guys? At the end of this video, we have a surprise for you guys. A surprise that you might want to stick around for. So once we run out of packs, we will reveal... Hopefully, we're going to pull the mage here real quick. And then we'll reveal something awesome that I have to tell you guys about. Here we go. We have the Wonky Quartet. That is a that is a wonky card, I will say that. Let's save that one. Okay, we'll do last quarter century duels pack, special duels box, special pack. Here we go. Access code, and okay. We got some good pulls. We didn't get uh, the big Magia. That's okay. Last pack here for Terminal Revenge for Marcel. Thanks again, Marcel, for sending us these for an opening. Hopefully, it will bring us some luck right here. Sprite Spren, Gathering Light, Electro, and Ebon Sun. Okay, not that time. Okay, guys, the video's not over because I have a special announcement for you guys. If you are not on Twitter, if you weren't there for whatnot recently, if you're not on probably Instagram, a lot of you guys aren't, by the way, or at least you missed it. You may have missed something that happened recently. And it was on a whatnot stream. And it was after 3,600 packs. Any packs or whatever. Or you can go to the buy it now and you can just buy stuff immediately. So that's how that works. And I'm going to open it up. It's the first pack, guys. There's no way. So I put out so much YouTube content so you guys have that option. Oh! Would have trolled me so hard. We are not giving up that easily, okay? Golly. <sighs> Toy Soldier. Pop. We just have to believe. Have to believe. Have to believe. Believe. Believe.
my gosh. $45 Magia. It's finally happened. Oh my goodness. Let's just, uh, you know, let's just get that in a top loader real quick. 3,600 packs. Oh my goodness. Yes, we did pull it on whatnot, just like last week. So I decided to do this last video here because Marcel had sent me packs, so I wanted to still open them for him. And you know, because if, if you guys know I pulled it, then it's kind of a buzzkill. So uh, I wanted to still open his packs. Plus I had worked with another guy to get these quarter century duelist boxes and open those up. And I'm like, we still need to pull the Japanese major anyway. So we'll just kind of do it all in one video, knock out, make this our final Magia video. So because we have pulled it, now we don't need to open anymore. Though I will say, I will say, we're gonna tell the stats by the way that we opened in just a second, but I will say, I thought I would be okay with pulling it for somebody else and that counting as the pull, but I'm kind of like, man, you know, it's like, man, we opened so many packs and like 95% of them were for myself. So like, if I pull it, I get to keep the card. You know, it's not like somebody else's pack. We did occasionally, somebody would send me some boxes. You guys know, you watch the videos and we'd open them for them. It feels like 95% I open and then the 5% I open, we actually pull it out of those. So it's like, ah, oh, man, maybe I should open more. But then it's like, it's kind of come to an end anyway. So it's like, I don't know if I want to keep this going. I don't really know. That's just kind of my, my conflicting feelings about the pull. I'm super happy we finally got it. You know, at least we can say we we pulled it which is exciting and i was super pumped when we pulled it but let me know your thoughts down below about like what what do you think we should do should we every once in a while do another major bit maybe probably not as frequently as we were before but maybe like a personal search because i don't have the card still like i have the japanese cards that we just pulled that's it so yeah that's that let me know down below i want to hear you guys thoughts and also let's do a final tally so including by the way on one on stream that was our fifth pack we went on a whatnot stream we were going to open a whole case that i bought from lewis which if i had opened it myself i would have gotten it but you know it is what it is um we opened five packs into that case and we got it so uh this is stopping at the five pack mark i didn't include the ones we opened afterwards because we had already pulled it we opened three thousand six hundred and twenty one packs which is 12.57 cases there's 12 boxes in each of those so that's over 144 boxes that's like 150 boxes basically to get the qcr magia so yeah i mean th those are the stats the money i spent i thought about telling you guys but i decided you know what i don't think i'm going to I don't think I'm going to tell you how much I spent. Just know it was multiple thousand. That's all you need to know. Multiple thousand in packs to open it up. There were other times, you know, we did sell some on the whatnot stream and stuff like that. So uh, we made 20 something videos. So we're not like bankrupt or anything. Thankfully, it made us a lot of content. Uh, I was able to get some good deals on a lot of them, but uh, I'm I'm honestly another reason I'm kind of like okay with it being over is I really don't want to buy thousand dollar cases anymore because <laughs> it was starting to rack up recently because the prices kept going up. So this is the end. This is the conclusion I think of the uh, of the Magia saga. Maybe we will revisit it every once in a while because I do still have six boxes left to open up. Maybe we'll open those later at some point. But this is it. So. Thank you guys for checking out the Magia series. If you guys missed it, you can relive all of the madness. There's 20 something videos in a playlist. And thank you guys for all the support during the search for the Magia the last four months. And it came at a perfect time because we have Bonanza coming up this week. Like, I guess next week, technically, when you're seeing this. But this week, basically, we are opening Bonanza. There's a 967 card set we have to complete coming up on Saturday. So perfect timing for this to be done because we got to do a massive stream on Saturday. On YouTube, we have two one-off streams coming up, including a massive vintage opening we're going to do Friday. So I'll see you guys for that one. Thank you guys for all the support. Shout out to Tone Foe Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.